as is Omer from MOs.com and I want to do a quick introduction video to the channel and website. I actually probably should have done this video beforehand, but better late than never. And yes, I am the same Omer behind the original MOHOT first look videos and now I am back with a new channel and the website. With the goal of making MOs.com bigger and better than other MO sites on the net. The current goal right now is to do one, or one video every other day with the eventual goal of doing a video every single day like I did before. But right now I just want to focus on the channel bigger and better and I'll be focusing on gameplay videos and other goodies. And the website will have screenshots, reviews, all the good stuff from other MMO websites. But we will also have music for every single free-to-play as well as hopefully pay-to-play game on the game review pages. And some people have been wondering too if I would ever plan on streaming. And I probably will, but only once this channel gets more subscribers and the audience grows. And I'm just starting out right now, so I appreciate all the support and all the comments you guys are leaving. I do read every single comment. I've actually read every single comment back on MMOHut.com days too. So anything you leave, I will read and most likely reply back to you. And I'm sure a few people have been wondering uh, what I've been doing lately. And it's been mostly League of Legends, Dota, with of course a ton of uh, other free-to-play modes and MMORPGs in between. And I feel like everybody gets hyped about a whole bunch of different games every time they're coming out. But only to stick with them for like a couple days or like a week. This whole MMO hopping phenomenon. I think, I think almost everybody does it. So I've been playing a bunch of random MMORPGs, uh, maximizing the boob sliders, and playing a few, uh, few days at a time usually. I, I, really, I, I haven't stuck with an MMORPG for a while lately, mainly because I've still been hooked on League. Have been playing that pretty much nonstop for since season two days, so I'm I'm doing alright in league. But I did start playing a little bit of freestyle too lately, only because I've played that a whole bunch in high school, so I'm still a little bit hooked on that, though not that much. In terms of games I'm looking forward to, uh, MMO wise, Tree of Savior, only because I've played so much Ragnarok that I'm a little bit nostalgic, and it's supposed to be the real follow up to Ragnarok Online, whereas Ragnarok Online 2 I couldn't really get into, despite trying to, because it's basically nothing like Ragnarok. And on the console front, really only looking forward to some random JRPGs. Uh, looking forward to Persona 5 for PS4. I don't even have a PS4 right now, but I probably will buy one just for Persona 5 and the new Final Fantasy game. And in case you're curious, I'm wearing a Dota 2 shirt, despite Dota 2 not being my main MOBA. And I got this shirt because, actually a couple years ago, Steam was selling these shirts on the Valve, Valve store, Dota store, Steam store, one of those stores. And if you buy the shirt, you get a, a redemption code with the shirt. And the redemption code is actually, uh, is actually, was actually good for an in-game item for Dota 2. And the item is actually worth more than the cost of the shirt. So I bought like 20 of these shirts. I literally wear these all the time. I, if you ever see me in real life, I don't know if you, anybody ever will, but I, I'm always wearing a Dota 2 shirt because I have over 20 of these in my closet because they all came with the codes. The code sold for like 25 bucks on the uh, Steam Marketplace for like in-game, uh, you got an in-game cosmetic item for Dota 2. I'm actually wearing Dota 2 headphones for the same exact reason, so I got a whole bunch of free Dota 2 stuff basically by selling the redemption code I got for it, which is awesome. But yeah, uh, if you guys are curious about anything or have any questions, uh, leave, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to read everything, reply to everything. I do want to thank everyone who's left comments and supported me up until now. You guys rock. And uh, anyway, guys, later. I'll do some, uh, some chair leaning. Double thumbs up. Later, guys.